In this video, we want to learn integrate functions whose antiderivative or integral of them involves inverse of trigonometric functions. The first formula is integral of 1 over x to the 2 plus 1 dx is r tangent of x plus c or tangent inverse of x plus c. If you remember from derivative, derivative of the function tangent inverse of x or arc tangent of x is 1 over x to the 2 plus 1. So, integral of 1 over x to the 2 plus 1 is arc tangent of x. Before doing an example with this formula, let me show you generalized form of this formula. If we have an integral in the form of 1 over x to the 2 plus a to the 2, which a can be any number. So a is not a variable, a is a number. For example, a can be 1, 1 to the 2 is 1. So we have the same formula, the original formula. But here a can be any number. a can be 2, 3, 1 over 2, root 3, root 2, any number to the 2. Then the integral equals... 1 over a r tangent of x over a plus c. I highly recommend you to learn this formula and use this formula instead of this original form. Because with this formula, you can integrate a broad range of functions. But this, with this formula, only you can integrate 1 over x to the 2 plus 1. So learning this formula helps you to integrate much more functions. Let's do an example. What is the integral of 1 minus 1 over x to the 2 plus 1 dx? Integral of 1 is x and integral of 1 over x to the 2 plus 1 is tangent inverse of x plus c. Another example. Integral of 1 over x to the 2 plus 9 dx. Now if you want to integrate this expression with this original formula, you have to do some algebraic operation and also maybe you need to do u substitution. But with the aim of this new form, this generalized form of the formula, easily you can integrate this expression. What we have to do is to rewrite this function in a form that fits to the integration rules that we have here. So first we have to try to rewrite this expression in this form. We have to have 1 over x to the 2, which we have here, plus something, a number, a square. But we have here 9, and we know that we can write 9 in the form of 3 to the 2. Now this form fits with this formula. Note that we have 1 over x to the 2 plus a3 plays the role of a to the 2 dx. It exactly fits in this form. Again, here I should mention one of the most important steps in integration is rewriting the integrand. By integrand, I mean this expression here in front of the integral in a form that fits one of the integral rules. So first we have to rewrite this expression in this form. Now we can use this formula. The answer is 1 over 3 tangent inverse of x over 3 plus c. Another example. What is the integral of 1 over 2 plus x2 dx? To integrate this expression, we use again this generalized formula, but note that the order is changed. Instead of x2 plus a number to the 2, we have 1 over a number plus x2. So attention to this difference. Here, number is first. First, we write this in the form of a2 plus x2. 1 over, instead of 2, we write root 2 to the 2, because root 2 to the 2 is true, plus x2. Now this form fits with the formula x2 plus a number to the 2. Note that a here is root 2. 
And so the answer of the integral is 1 over a, which is root 2, 1 over root 2, tangent inverse of x over square root of 2 plus c. Another example. What is the integral of negative 4 over x to the 2 plus 25 dx? If you compare this with this formula, in the original formula, we have a constant 1 in top, but here we have negative 4 in top. So first, we have to pull out negative 4 out of the integral. So we write the integral in the form of negative 4, integral of 1 over x to the 2 plus, instead of 25, we write 5 to the 2 dx. Now this form exactly fits with this formula. So first, we pull out negative 4, and instead of 25, we write 5 to the 2. So 1 over x to the 2 plus a or 5 to the 2 dx. Now we can integrate this expression with the formula. The answer is negative 4 bracket 1 over a, 1 over 5, tangent inverse of x over 5 plus c. If you multiply negative 4 in 1 over 5, it equals negative 4 over 5, tangent inverse of x over 5, plus c. Let me emphasize again how much this formula is important in integration of functions, especially when you want to integrate rational functions, you will see the importance of this formula in integration of rational functions. So, I highly recommend you to memorize this formula. Integral of 1 over square root of 1 minus x to dx is sine inverse of x plus c. If you remember from derivative formulas, derivative of the function sine inverse of x was 1 over square root of 1 minus x2. And so, integral of this expression is sine inverse of x. The generalized form of this formula is integral of 1 over square root of a to the 2 minus x to the 2 dx is sine inverse of x over a plus c. In this generalized form, a can be any positive number. For example, a can be 2, 3, a square root of 3, etc. Let's do an example. Integral of 1 over a square root of 25 minus x2 dx. First, we have to rewrite this expression in a form that fits with our formula. 25 can be written in the form of 5 to the 2. 5 to the 2 is 25. Now we can integrate this expression with this formula. The integral of 1 over square root of 5 to the 2 minus x to the 2 dx is sine inverse of x over 5 plus c. Another example. What is the integral of 1 over square root of 3 minus x to dx? Again, first we have to try to rewrite 3 in a form of a to the 2. We have to write 3 in the form of something to the 2. And we can rewrite 3 in the form of a square root of 3 to the 2. The power 2 and a square root cancel each other, so this is again 3. But we have rewrite 3 in a form that fits with our formula. We have now something, a number, raised to the 2. Now we can use our formula to integrate the expression. And the answer is sine inverse of x over a square root of 3 plus c. Another formula. Integral of 1 over x square root of x to the 2 minus 1 dx is secant inverse of x plus c. If you remember from derivative formulas, derivative of the functions, secant inverse of x was 1 over x square root of x to the 2 minus 1. And so, integral of this expression is secant inverse of x. 
The generalized form of this formula is integral of 1 over x square root of x to the 2 minus a to dx is 1 over a second inverse of x over a plus c. For example, if we want to integrate 1 over x square root of x to the 2 minus 49, first we have to rewrite 49 in the form of 7 to the 2 that fits with this form. Now, if we want to compare the formula with our example, a is 7. And so the answer is 1 over 7, second inverse of x over 7 plus c. Another example. Integral of 1 over x square root of x to the 2 minus 5 dx. First, we have to try to rewrite 5 in the form of something, a number, to the 2. Then we have integral of 1 over x square root of x to the 2 minus square root of 5 to the 2 dx. Square root of 5 to the 2 is 5 again. And so now we can integrate this expression with the formula. The answer would be 1 over a, which is square root of 5, second inverse of x over square root of 5 plus C.